another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, got a good show for you today. Uh, we haven't broken down Lomachenko's big win yet uh, over Kome on Saturday at Madison Square Garden. So we're going to get into that, and, and, and we're going to go into the uh, pound for pound, the, sorry, the lightweight rankings uh, and the state of the lightweight division right now, which is one of the hottest divisions. Uh before we do, please like, like uh, and subscribe. Share all from social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Lots of new content. I will be going to San Antonio this weekend uh, for the Zoto Ramirez fight. Uh, Marlon Sparza, Kendra Castaneda fighting on that card. Um, so check that channel, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. So let's get into today's show. Um, big news, uh, like I said, Lomachenko um, had a really, 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 really impressive win all over Richard Comey. Comey's a guy I like a lot. Uh, Comey, I, I thought it was a top 10 lightweight, you know, dangerous guy, former world champion, big hitter, defensively floored. Uh, Lomachenko put it on him. Uh, Lomachenko dominated the uh 12-round affair. He scored a couple rounds for Kome. I think Kome was game. He was just a little bit outclassed. Um, Lomachenko was vintage Loma. He saw him doing a lot of the things. A lot of the things you're accustomed to Loma doing. A combination, the footwork, the angles, firing in, getting out. Um, what I would say, though, was he was getting tagged quite a bit on his way out at the end of those combinations, right, um, where he used to make you miss. He's not making a miss like he used to. Um, I, I don't think this is the same Lomachenko. I don't think this is – he's quite as quick. Right? He's th- in his mid-30s now. He's getting up there. I think he's 33 or 34. Um, so he's not what he once was, although he's still very good. Um, also, you know, he's throw six, seven punch combinations, and that angle, now it's three and four. So you can see he's starting to slow down just a bit. He's still great. He's still phenomenal. Still a pound for pound type of guy. Um, he's just not, ex- you know, he's aging. Um, but really, I, I'd give the performance an A, A minus. I'd give it an A minus. Really, really good performance against a, a really good opponent in Richard Comey. Um, where he goes from here, I, I think it's Cambosis. That would be my guess. My, my guess, you know, Haney's going to want to fight him, but I, I think it's just too easy to make. The Cambosis fight, and I, I think that's what we get next. I think we get Cambosis and Loma. That's the fight I pick Loma to win. Uh, so if you go to 3dboxingblog.com, I want to get into this now. Uh, I've updated a lot of my rankings from last week or two weeks ago. Um, obviously, there's a lot of changes going on, and we have to do this. Um, number one, I think the best lightweight in the world is Javante Tank Davis. Um, the good win over Cruz. You know, he went up to 140, blew up, uh, I don't want to say blew up, knocked out Barrios. Um, he beat Santa Cruz. There's a lot. I, I think if there were a tournament with the top eight, ten got whatever, Tank Davis wins it. You, he showed a lot. He showed he, he's a counter puncher. He showed that he can fight off going backwards, fire off power. Shots and combinations off the back foot against Cruz. He said he could win a round against Cruz, a good fighter um, who needed that last round. Davis won it off the jab, going backwards. I, I thought that was impressive. So I thought there was a lot of good stuff from Tank Davis. Um, number two in my uh, lightweight ranking is Cambosis. It's up explanatory. He beat Cambosis. Uh, Cambosis beat Tim Lopez, has all the belts. Number three. Is it Lomachenko? Really, really good performance against Richard Comey. Um, number four, Devin Haney. Uh, I thought Devin Haney had the A performance um, against Jojo Diaz. Uh, the reason why he, Haney's not higher is I don't have Jojo Diaz as ranked. I didn't have Diaz ranked as high, and I don't think Devin Haney has as many good wins as. Um, 
Loma. All right, so I have Loma three, Devin Haney four. I think Tank's the best, so he's one. Cambosis is two. Uh, number five is Tiafima Lopez. Uh, so I'm keeping him on that list till he goes up to 140. Number six, King Rye. Ryan Garcia's got the big win over Luke Campbell. Not a lot else on that resume. Number seven, William Zepeda, who beat Hector Har. Stopped Hector Tanahar, beat him up real bad. Uh, I think he gets overlooked. Number eight. Um, is Jojo Diaz with a good performance against Devin Haney, the winner over Fortuna. I have him at eight. Number nine, Isak Cruz. Uh, Cruz has a win over Francisco Vargas. Uh, he has a win over Thomas Batiste on Showtime, and he's got a very, very competitive fight um, with Tank Davis. Um, and number 10, another prize I think is really, really overlooked, um, is Michelle Rivera, uh, PBC um, prospect. I, I think he has tremendous skill, speed. He's got good pop. He dresses like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> uh, Michelle Rivera is really good. So I, I, I think one through ten, there's no weak link. This is a really, really, really good division. Um, what I see next, I'd like to see Tank fight Michelle Rivera. I think that's something we could get. Um, I, I don't know who else they really have at 35. I don't know if that's a little soon for Rivera. I just don't know who else they can put him in. Over there at PBC at 35. Um, I guess they could try Roly again. I don't know if they're going to do that. I don't really know the status of Roly right now. Um, I think, like I said, I think you get Cambosis, TV Lopez, uh, Lomachenko, so that's two and three. Haney, I don't know. I, I think Ryan Garcia. How about Haney versus Pettit? Can we do that? I would really like that. Um, TV Lopez, I think he's going to move out. So I, I think you're, after this, you're going to get Ryan Garcia and Jojo Diaz. I think that's a fight Golden Boy makes. And I don't know who wins that fight. Um, and I, Isak Cruz, I don't know. Does Isak Cruz fight Rivera next? And then the winner gets Tank and Tank fight Roller? I think that could happen. I think that's a really good fight. But there's a lot of good things going on right now at the lightweight division. A lot of permutations, combinations of fights you can make. Um, it, it, it's on fire and with the young talent Rivera and um, Zapeta don't get the hype and the gloss as uh, you know the other guys at the Haynes and the Garcias, but they're just as skilled and just as talented. Those guys are really, really good. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please feel free to uh, I said, please feel free to leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds for that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is December 13th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.